Hi, so we have set up our instructor profile and now it is time for us to create a new course. Your page uh, will look similar to this top part. You probably will not have um, all of these different courses listed. These are the other courses that I've created. Um, so let's go ahead and the first thing we want to do is we want to select the new create new course button. Up here we want to type in the name of our course. Um, I will choose AP Government and Politics, and then the short name for the course is important because when the students are using the iTunes U app, uh, if they look at, for example, like the list view uh, assignments, or if they get an alert on their iPad, it abbreviates the name of the course. So if they have more than one course, they know which course the assignment is for, the post is for, or the alert comes from. So it's good to have a uh, uh, short name uh, to abbreviate the course so that the kids will know. Institution right here, you can see for me it's already selected as Cathedral Catholic High School. I'm not 100% certain if yours will do that right away. If it does, that's great. If not, you might see a box similar to this one. Please make sure you type in Cathedral Catholic High School. Again, don't write CCHS, write Cathedral Catholic High School to make sure that your uh, course is affiliated with our institution. Even if you keep it as a private course, you need to make sure this is correct so that they're, you're able to have more than 50 students in your course. In a private course, you can control who's in it and who isn't, but you, you need to make sure that this information is correct uh, to be able to have more than 50 students in a course. If you have questions about that, please, please feel free to ask me. Um, I, I know that might not necessarily be clear in this video. Then you want to type in the uh, department and you want to choose a category and the categories are selected uh, are um, more closely aligned with what you'd expect for university. iTunes U was originally created for universities to create courses and post them online and so as a high school they don't always line up necessarily the way ours our courses do so for example law and politics is where I would find under the subcategory political science is probably the closest for my course um, if you have a private course, this is not necessarily important. If you ever want to make a public course, this helps people to find your course. And then we will choose a grade level, and I will choose high school, and then the, the language that we will be using in course, English. And then here we have course image, similar to our instructor image. If I click on it, uh, it brings up this box, and I can use the choose feature to search my computer for the image I want to use, or I can drag and drop an image into here, um, just like you could do with the instructor profile. This gives you the slider to adjust, and then the difference here is the, the image needs to be a little bit bigger. It needs to be at least 600 by 600 pixels. Uh, it can be too large. I think it's um, 1024 by 1024 would be too big. Again, if you need help with this part, please, please let me know. Um, I have had a fair amount of practice um, resizing these images and I would be happy to do that for you. It just has to happen this one time and then uh, your course is ready to go. And similar to what I said with your instructor profile, you need to make sure that it's a picture that you have the rights to redistribute. Uh, it should not be something that you've taken from uh, your textbook website or something else that you don't have permission to use. Uh, ideally, it might be a picture that you've taken yourself or you have found uh, from a website that allows you to use images. Um, if you need help with that, please feel free to let me know and I'd be happy to help you with that part. After your image, you want to put uh, something here for your course description. And I tend to use the description that is uh, either I've included on my syllabus or something from the curriculum guide, something that accurately describes what the course is. And so that helps people um, be able to find you know, the information they're looking for describe the course. I just copied and pasted that in because I, I have it written somewhere else. There's also these buttons here if you wanted to make things bold or highlight or, or anything like that. Now down here you can see that there's course type. There are self-paced courses and there are in-session courses. If you're using this with a class that you're currently seeing in the classroom, I highly recommend an in-session course. Self-paced courses are more for independent study, someone who uh, wants to participate in an iTunes U course just for the sake of their own knowledge and they aren't tied to due dates and assignments and things like that. But since you're going to be using this with your students, then you want to choose in session because this is going to give you options as far as posting assignments and having due dates. My students that are using this really like, they've told me that they really like having the due dates. 
there's sort of a list of assignments that they can check off once they've completed. And to have those extra features, you have to be sure you choose in session. So the start date could be, you know, today. And then your end date, I would recommend making your end date, uh, mine for example is June 30th, you know, something well after uh, when the course is going to be over. And the last thing we have to worry about here is choosing a license. And what this does is this tells people that find your course if you end up making it public, uh, what permission they have to use the materials that you post. So if you're terrified of people using your things and that's scary to you, all rights reserved is fine. I use one of these other licenses, this Attribution Non-Commercial Share-Alike License. If you want to read more about these, you can by visiting creativecommons.org. But uh, sort of the short version is I like this license because a lot of the materials that I use, I've gotten from people that have a similar license. And it essentially says, feel free to use my stuff. You can't make money from you know selling the stuff that I created, but I'm happy if you want to use it. And please feel free to share. Uh, that stuff. And so I'm sort of, I think of this as paying it forward. Some of the materials I've created myself, some things I've, I've, I've borrowed from other teachers or tweaked it or, or whatever. And so I want people to feel free to do that same thing so that we can continue to create a, a good wealth of information that's available for other teachers in our subject areas. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click this save button and then it'll work for a little bit. And then you will see that it'll take us back to this page, the course manager page. And there is our course.